Hi there. Who's heard of the Mesos Fetcher? Okay. The, when you launch a task, um, a little program that's part of the Mesos agent, a separate process gets spawned and fetches resources so that you can run your task. So whatever you need, like the binary, for example, gets fetched from somewhere in your cluster, from the web, whatever you specify, from some sort of URI, and then placed into the sandbox, and then you can invoke it there or use these data with a program that's already there or whatever. The, any such resources get fetched every time you launch a task. And if you launch the same task with the same resources twice, the fetching happens twice. It's immensely wasteful. So what, we, what are we supposed to do about that? Caching, obviously. So what I'm talking about here is that in 023, we now have a fetcher cache. And uh, you could imagine, well, why didn't we do this long time ago and just put an HTTP cache there? Yeah, but then what about FTP? When we put, when we put a cache of that nature there, well, then what about S3? If you want to, or what about another protocol? And so on and so forth. So we put a generic cache there that is part of the Mesos agent. Uh, you specify at the command line when you start the agent where a directory should be and how much of that directory, what kind of amount of data you can store there as a cache. The resources uh, that get downloaded get stored there first. If the same ones get addressed again with the exact same URI, the resources get copied from the cache instead of uh, pulled from the web again or wherever they may be. Um, this is enabled by putting the cache flag to true, which by default is false when you do an accept offers or respectively launch tasks. Uh, go check it out. If you want to refresh the cache, you have to use a different URI. The thing will LRU-wise flush what's been old. That's it.